this interview is being presented by Intimidation Clothing. Impose your will. Uncivilize. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Be a beast among men. Adrenaline Training Center. Up your game. Change the way you train. TheDailyPunch.net. Have you got in your Daily Punch? Area 51 Fight Gear and MMA Mind Power. Late Night MMA Radio is live Monday and Thursdays, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. Call into the show to win MMA merchandise, www.LateNightMMA.com. Join the revolution. Uh, not much, man. Just got done training this morning, and uh, Wednesdays are actually my afternoon off, so I'm just relaxing and hanging out with my family, so it's a good day. Awesome, man. Who gave you the name The Caveman? Uh, Master Conan um, from American Top Team. He uh, the first day I ever walked into ATT, man. I had some long hair, uh, was missing my tooth, and he's like, "Dude, you just look like a caveman." And ever since, like, all they ever been nice. called a caveman in American Top Team. So, good deal, man. Good deal. So uh, we had you on the show back in, I believe, December. Um, but do you want to just talk a little bit about uh, your fight with Roy Jones in the Strike Force Cage? Oh man, yeah, that was a good fight. He, uh, he, a little, some things happened that I did, definitely didn't want to happen. Uh, obviously, that flying knee that landed wasn't part of my game plan and uh, flushed me a little bit. But oh, it was an all right performance. When I started bleeding, I kind of played it pretty safe starting in the second round because I didn't want the fight to get stopped. Didn't want to give him a chance to open it up. So, wish I could have put on a better performance. But all in all, it was good. It was good to get the W. How disappointing is it to uh, not continue with Strike Force? Um, I'm actually still continuing with Strike Force. I asked Strike Force if I could get a one fight release to go fight on another promotion. So, oh, good deal. I'm surprised more guys aren't uh, going that route. Yeah, me. Too. Yeah, me too. I mean, I guess me asking them if I for the fight off, they could have come. I don't know. Yeah, but as long as I win, I think I'm still with Strike Force, so and that's what I plan on doing is winning, so I can fight in Strike Force. Hopefully, beat this guy up here uh, in seven days, and then fight on uh, May 19th. Good stuff, man. So uh, you're fighting for a WMMA one event. Um, just talk a little bit about the event and uh, your opponent, Rodney Wallace. Um, yeah, the event, it's uh, headlined by Sean McCorkle, and I think Carl Parisian's on it, and um, Thomas Denny, a bunch of other guys, Paul Blintello. Yes, A um, bunch of good guys on the card, man. I'm I'm happy to be on the card. I know it's a Wounded Warriors project, and I had some friends that were in, uh, were enlisted in the Army, you know, Navy, all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm excited, man. Excited to fight for the troops. It's going to be a good time. Uh, Rodney Wallace, I know he fought in the UFC three times. Um. Yeah, I'm looking forward to beating him up. <laughs> Good stuff, man. So, uh, how much weight do you have to uh, drop um, from this point until next week at weigh-ins? Uh, right now, I'm about like about eighteen to twenty pounds over right now. So, and is that uh, typical? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's normal. Oh yeah, man. Um, so, are you still training with ATT? And, uh, yeah. just list off some of the guys you've been working with. Uh, man, I've been working a lot with, uh, Tiago Silva. Bigfoot's back in ATT. I've been working with him. Um, Hector Lombard, doing a lot of wrestling with him, man. He's helping me out a lot. Uh, Kelly and Knudsen. I don't know you guys will be hearing of him soon. He's a world champion. Um, FILA second in the, he got second in the world for FILA. He was a world champion. And, dude, he's a beast. Just uh, submitted a black belt over in uh, Switzerland not that long ago. So, working with all those guys. Got a little wrestling with months and a couple weeks ago. So, yeah. And then my striking coach, Wagner, um, Ricardo Laborio, Master Conan, all those guys, man. Helping me out a lot getting ready for this fight. Who will be in your corner uh, next week? I got my uh, Muay Thai coach, uh, Wagner, coming. Good stuff, man. So, uh, do you want to throw out any of your sponsors for this upcoming fight or promote your Twitter or Facebook? Uh, yeah, man. Follow me at Derek Maiman on Twitter. And I got, uh, yeah, my sponsor is Rolling Bones. They're a um, hunting outfitter company. They set up trips and stuff. Definitely check out Rolling Bones on Twitter. 
um, Nutri Blast Labs. They got the greatest supplements. Um, yeah, that's about it. Gary's Tattoos in Galena, Illinois. They're also good stuff, man. Check them out. Good times, man. Thanks for coming on the show. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Have a good okay, day. Okay, see you, Derek. Later.